Hi everybody, this is Rob from Somosim, uh, and welcome to the uh, devlogs for uh, City of Gangsters, which is a mafia management game uh, we've been working on. Uh, this is uh, the series of devlogs is going to be basically uh, us showing you uh, different parts of the game, stuff that we're working on, uh, very much work in progress, right? Uh, the game is currently in alpha, and uh, it's uh, going to ship next year. Uh, so these are sort of like little bits that we're working on, uh, and little bits of uh, you know explanation of mechanics and, and the stuff that uh, we think is kind of interesting and cool to talk about. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about cars, because the uh, so the game is set in Prohibition era uh, United States. Uh, you are involved in the illegal sales and distribution of alcohol uh, uh, among other things and uh, uh, part of having a big uh, 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 empire of, of producing and distributing uh, illegal product is distribution and getting it around town so an important part is one getting a sufficiently large crew so I have uh, already hired three people so my name is Stanley Forsberg in this in this particular site file and I have, and have a few people uh, and uh, not all of them need to be doing the work of delivering uh, so I have I have these two guys Roy uh, driving around and uh, uh, delivering stuff and I have Henry uh, driving around uh, so actually let's take a look what they do uh, Henry appears to be uh, buying a lot of stonework rocks, delivering them uh, and delivering them all to my uh, drop-off point, and then picking up the homemade beer that I made and uh, selling it to other people. Meanwhile, Roy, uh, it appears that Roy is not doing anything right now, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, so th we, with Roy, we can either drive around and uh, use him, uh, sort of like tell him step by step what to do, or we can uh, add a delivery route where we tell him exactly what to do. So we tell him, you know, hey, go to our safe house, uh, pick up a bunch of cash, uh, pick up, you know, 100 bucks, then go, uh, you know, find us some apple juice uh, at, well, actually, better yet, find us some stonework rocks. Uh, go to Arnold's Variety Shop and buy everything that you can and then go and drop it off, take the stonework rocks, drop them off at our storage place, drop off all of them, and keep repeating this. So now that uh, we have a delivery route, uh, we're, now that we're going to advance to the next turn, he's going to just start doing this route over and over again until we tell him otherwise. So these, uh, these are ways with which we can uh, sort of automate things a little bit so that we don't have to do everything manually, right? We are we are the boss. We tell people what to do. Um, <laughs> the uh, other part is uh, we have a manager over here, and uh, her job is actually to be managing production over here. So her job uh, in our backroom operation is to be improving things. Uh, thanks to her uh, abilities, she has a, a homemade beer level two skill that she acquired over time uh we've bumped our production from 50 to 60 uh homemade beer crocs uh during each production cycle which is very good right that's a you know that's a 20 percent increase in in production which is great uh and uh as i mentioned regarding vehicles uh we have we have a few we have uh as you can see up here uh one passenger vehicle which is the car that i'm driving around and we have three trucks uh, so these are uh, the trucks are assigned to these these gentlemen. Uh, it's good to have trucks because they have higher capacity, and uh, uh, they drive a little bit slower, but that's fine. Uh, the higher capacity means means we can get more done with every uh, with every turn that passes. And finally, uh, you can see in my vehicle uh, that the vehicle I'm driving actually is a little beat up. Uh, if we were to start driving it around, we can see that because it's uh, beat up it loses some of the movement points that I would normally get. Normally I would get uh, 12 movement points per turn, but because the vehicle is getting uh, worn and torn from everything that I'm doing, uh, I'm losing some movement points. So I need to find a repair place that could potentially help me with that. Uh, we can find various car shops and other things using our overlays. And it turns out there's a car shop right here uh, Mary's Mary's Auto Shop. Let's drive over there. And uh, as with everything else, the getting stuff done is a very quick conversation. We go over here, Mary Coke. Hey, you fix fix vehicles, right? 
Yeah, what do you need? Alright. This beat up job has solved me well, but take a look at it. Uh, repairs are fairly cheap, right? $78 uh, is not that much money for us because we have a lot of money uh, and it restores our vehicle to per perfect condition. Now, uh, some places only repair vehicles, some places sell vehicles as well. Uh, let's see, there's a truck service over there. Let's see if we can drive over there and find out what they do. Quick drive, a couple blocks over and indeed they fix vehicles, but they also might know some where someone somebody might get a truck. So if we had another delivery person, for example, if we wanted to take uh, Sally off of her management role, which we don't want to because she's doing really well, but if we wanted to and we wanted to assign her to the delivery route, we could come over here, buy a truck if we had enough money. Uh, and the other thing is if we had enough parking spots. We are currently at our cap. You can see three out of three. Uh, this is uh, because we have only so much parking space in our building. So if we wanted to expand our uh, deliveries even further, we would have to start thinking about how are we going to be uh, making room for all these trucks. We probably want to get another building, maybe install a parking spot or a, a loading bay in the building and so on. Uh, so yes, we can get more buildings. Right now we only have two buildings under our control. Uh, we have the the main place up here that we've been doing all, all of our deliveries to. This is uh, our uh, uh, Uncle Anthony uh, has been uh, uh, managing this for us. Um, and then down here we started a new building, uh, which is Arnold's Sandwich Counter. Uh, and we, we have something else going on here. We have a backroom homemade uh, beer bootlegger. So this is a distribution point. We could get a third one, uh, which costs money, which uh, requires a... Uh, a few other things so we're not going to do it right now but something we can talk about next time